Now, in 2007, you caused um, you know, a lot of media interest here in Thailand and in the world as well. Mm. You married, uh, and you married a woman who is not you know, any ordinary woman. She was uh, Miss Universe, yeah. Natalie. Um, tell me, you know, the insane amount of media coverage about that, how did you cope with it? At first, we, we can you know, uh, hide it for four months. <laughs> <laughs> For four months only. For four months, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, of course, you know, can't get away from the media, mm -hmm. and you know, of course, that Natalie is just um, very um, friendly, and uh, she won the the title here in Thailand, yeah. in Bangkok, yeah. the two thousand. Is that how you met? Um, no, not really. that's not where we met. Yeah, okay. she won it in two thousand five in Bangkok, and uh, the reason we met is at the, at the Thailand Open. Mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, she went to see my match that I'm playing against uh, Tim Henman, okay. and I won that match, and uh, you know, I think that's how it's kick off. <laughs> And uh, you know, I think uh, it it's really can happen, really, yeah, isn't yeah, it? You know, yeah. from one people here and the one another people from you know different continent just come to meet. And uh, you know, Natalie is um, still good friends with me, mm -hmm. and you know, we having coffee sometime at yeah, this day. Yeah, yeah. That also made uh, it to the media because people were interested to know. Um, though you've decided to go separate ways. You've remained uh, friends and, of course, support each other's uh, initiatives. Um, is that something that was, you know, from the get-go, you guys were very good friends and that's how they were going to... Yes, I think, that's, I think this is a really good thing about us, about yeah. me and Natalie. Um, at first, we step in, you know, deciding to, okay, yeah. let's spend life together. Yeah. And uh, somehow, once when it didn't work out in the way that, you know, both people didn't want it to, mm -hmm. and uh, I think the good thing is, you know, step back and... Mm -hmm be friends mm -hmm. and uh, you know still supporting in you know supporting each in other business. yeah the business wise mm -hmm. and you know connecting people and uh, I think that we still remain a good friend you know just like I said having coffee like you know twice a week or something yeah. like that that's good yeah. <laughs> yeah. down to schedule I like yeah. that yeah. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the business ventures now you've gone into a multitude of different things were you always interested in business as well alongside sports at first no yeah. at first until I stop tennis, mm -hmm. I feel like for the first year that I stopped tennis, I, I would say I do nothing. I just you know hanging out, seeing friends. It's good sometimes not to do it. Oh yeah, yeah especially out, after such hang. Seeing you know, friends hectic. and uh, riding motorbike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, sure. yeah um, going to a lot of places in Bang in, in Thailand, mm -hmm. you know, like island. Mm -hmm. um, then I starting to feel like okay, I got to do something. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, try this, try that, try to open the restaurant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, work out in the beginning but yeah. you know at the end is like it's not easy to do business yeah. you know if you don't have experience yeah. but to get experience that you have to do it yeah. to gain it yeah. no matter is is right or wrong mm -hmm. once when you try it mm -hmm. okay no, next time you know that what not to do okay. so i'm like okay this is the best thing to you know to do is try it on mm -hmm. um, and uh, lucky to to get on um, a business that the supplement mm -hmm. yeah. that uh, it's been i have this company for 4 years now okay. Uh, it's called Magic Thai Herb, mm -hmm. which is Thai herbs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, it's on the market. Um, you know, it's it's about uh, supplement for you know staying healthy for okay. men. Okay. So I think it's it's pretty go along with mm -hmm. with you know my lifestyle. Okay. Yeah. Are there any other business ventures in the pipeline? Stuff that you know you you might think of going into? Um, a bit of everything, I would say. Mm -hmm. You know, I put investment on everything. Okay. Almost, you know, not not try to spend money. <laughs> <laughs> well, currently you're busy, of course, uh, with the tennis Asso association of Thailand. Yeah. What do you uh, what do you do with them? I'm training for kids mm -hmm. that you know the top level of, of Thailand, like the 16, 17, mm -hmm. still junior level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But another two is um, 18 and 19, which they're starting to play uh, a beginning of the professional circuit, which mm -hmm. is called a 10,000 future tournaments. Yeah. So you know, just just kick off. And well, you know, of course, tennis is take time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Take but time. of course, if there was any one person to you know be involved in it, it would be you here in Thailand. Now I'm going to ask you about you know Asian players um, who are playing tennis and with quite a lot of success. We've got Lina from China now, who uh, yeah. you know is winning tournaments quite a lot. Yes. And um, we've also you know see quite a few big names coming up as well. Mm. Now you know for for there to be success from Asia in tennis, what do you think needs to happen? From how to be success from Asia is to, you know, playing a tournament, yeah. which you got to start to play in the Asian continent yeah. first, and then you know the tough competition is European or 
you know, or America. Mm -hmm. But first, you have to, you know, the reason I success mm -hmm. and you know, the reason other Asian success is, of course, mm -hmm. to play. You have to be the best in Asia first. Yeah. And yeah. then you go out there yeah. and, you know, just, you know, and, you know, beating the world. <laughs> <laughs> beating the world. Beating like the world. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, quickly before we go, though, politics. And uh, Paradon, now I, yeah. I would never have put the two together, but of course, <laughs> you know, in 2011, you uh, decided to dabble a little bit in politics. Yes. What was that experience like? And are you going to look towards, you know, doing more political stuff in, in Thailand? Well, just like I said, it's, um, you know, try of everything. Okay. You know, you, then at least you experience it. Uh -huh. um, I do jump into politics at one point and... Um, for, for like two months, that mm -hmm. just before the election, the new election for the new prime minister. Uh, I gained a lot of experience, I meet a lot of people, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm, I'm kind of like it, mm -hmm. but it's got to take time into it. You, you, know, you will not have your own time at all, okay. not like you do your own business, okay. but everything you do, you do for, you know, for the whole, you know, whole country, pretty much. Okay. Um, I like it, but I, I think I, I still love the sports side, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, do business. I think that's. I think that's what I will concentrate on. Okay. But of course, I have a lot of friends that who's in the politics, which is good to at least you know you know the people around who's in a different subject. Mm -hmm. I think that's. I think that's for, for me is is the main part. Okay, I'm gonna make you choose again now, and I you know I'm guessing that you're not gonna like this one. Three, you know, it's not one, just okay. three. <laughs> three words to describe Paradon. Paradon. Um, in Thai, they say the, um, when they say paradon, it's mm -hmm. only paradon. <laughs> you know, I, okay. I want to describe that. It's, okay. When they say paradon, it's paradon that they know that, um, oh, the tennis guy, yeah. you know, he, that we used to watch them a lot on TV, we used to support them no matter how late at night it is. If they televise, they, they will, you know, sit in front of TV. Mm -hmm. So I think I will describe paradon on that. So that's it, one word, paradon. Yeah. All right. <laughs> What's in the future for you? For me, in the future, I want to, um, of course, in modern tennis, which is mm -hmm. still in modern tennis, I want to be a, a, a man who building the, you know, mm -hmm. the, a great tennis player from Asia. I'm not concentrating on, on Thai. I'm, I, you know, I, as my experience, I feel like I can do something with, you know, with my experience to pass the experience to the kid and uh, just, the matter of time, if I have the right sponsor or whoever think that this is it for for Asia, you know, mm -hmm. you, you got you got to use people who have experience to you know to build another great player in the future. Okay, that's good. Sounds interesting, actually. I'm looking forward to that one. Okay. Thank you very much, Pardon. <laughs> Thank you for being on Stadium One Plug. Absolute pleasure. And now, time for me to go out to Bangkok Town and you have some good Thai food. <laughs> <laughs>